Kareen. Uh, yeah, very very uh, many many years ago in MP. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm Jingwen. Same thing. Uh, foreign bodies. Uh, the, I would say it's been a while, lah. It's been a while. Uh, I joined in two o o four. Oh, yeah, which, yeah, correct. I joined in 2003. Mm. Yeah. Uh, as per what I know, FB, as in Foreign Bodies, uh, the dance group, it was actually founded by a group of like nursing students back in, back in 1994. Yeah, 1994. Then uh, it was actually a group of nursing students who actually had the interest in dance. They came together and formed a dance group. Then from there, they actually uh, proposed it to become a, uh, a club. A club in the school, yeah. So the, it actually uh, it actually started off with like just a few a few members, mm. yeah. Then uh, from there over the years, uh, it started to grow into a much bigger and larger uh, club to what it is now, yeah. So uh, do you know like why they wanted to form this club? Why they wanted to form this club? Right? I guess it's the the same like uh, interest and passion in dance that actually brought them together. Then. Uh, Yes, coming together to dance together. Yeah, uh, I think with that, that's why they wanted to form form a club. CCA. Yeah. So what was foreign bodies like back in the early days? Like How was it like back in the early days? Uh, okay, based on based on pictures that we that we see, uh, it started off actually with uh, I, I guess the whole club goes as the as the music scene and the dance scene actually goes as well. So uh, back then in the early stages, it was actually a lot of like jazz funk style, yeah. Then uh, and it's you. Last time dance was more popular with the Malays, yeah. So they actually came together. They do a lot of like jazz funk style, yeah. And in terms of like the costume and the culture, it's it's very much it's very much in the as well, yeah. Then uh, then slowly as um, pop starts to come in, when uh, Pop music starts to come in. It starts to. It starts to. Uh, the, the trend. The trend starts to grow, change, change and grow. This right. Mm. When pop music and hip hop start to actually uh, appear in the scene. Um, same thing along with the music trend. I think the dance, the dance changes as well. Yeah. So I think during the period of like uh, late nineties all the way to early twenties, right. Uh, that was a period where FB really changed the style to. To, uh, to hip hop, yeah. Uh, I think also with the very uh, much exposure from last time it was um, MTV, yeah. yeah MTV. Uh, that's where teenagers where they see um, MTV channel. Then uh, whatever that was actually in trend back then, uh, yeah. so they were they were actually influenced from there, la. Yeah. So I would actually say music has a very big part to whatever the, the dance was that the club was actually doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, according to the trend. Yeah. yeah, I think during back then was like like the 1990s when Michael Jackson was like in his prime days, right? Mm. So a lot of dancers all want to like copy his moves or like learn from him. So that's where like pop really came in, yeah. And then uh, from there they went on to the different various styles of like hip hop. So during then um, for FB, we were all into uh, exploring. So we will usually just um, break out on our own, right? And then just experiment like how to do dance like Mike Michael Jackson, how to do like the moonwalk. How to do his ways and things like that. So we were very uh, largely influenced by all these cultures. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. So like I shared just now, the the it was actually a club formed by a group of like nursing students uh, who actually have the interest in dance. So in nursing in nursing terms, right? Uh, they have this term called. Uh, foreign bodies that means mm. uh, like unwanted things in their bodies yeah, yeah correct then uh, I think because they are all nursing students and they wanted to form a club so that's why they they, they came up with this name uh, mm. foreign bodies yeah to represent the CCA group yeah yeah not sure if they felt unwanted or what but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was a good name yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think foreign bodies gave students a uh, a comfortable place where they can actually come to out of their school curriculum or out of their um, home environment for them to just chill and just to relax yeah to be, to be very free uh, to express themselves yeah because like in FB during uh, uh, the earlier days it was a very small group of us so it became a, a very intimate family amongst ourselves and where we actually forge uh, friendships that's strong and able to withstand um, the years 
and that till now we're still in contact like that. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's how FB has helped us because studies um, then and now I would say is still as stressful. Yeah. And we often needed uh, an outlet to actually run to to relieve stress or just to run away from our problems for a while. Yeah. So I think FB was a very good outlet for us. I think uh, back, actually back in, in, in my secondary school days, uh, I actually already had an interest in dance. Uh. Then when I was, but then back then dance wasn't so common, oh, mm. yeah, wasn't so common or popular. Mm. So when I actually go, got into uh, NYP, right, I was actually looking forward to join a dance CCA, la, mm. uh, preferably a hip hop one. Yeah, then uh, that's where I actually came across FBA. Then uh, after going through auditions, then after that, uh, being able to be inside the club, then uh, yeah, so it was actually a platform whereby I can I can get to dance and learn and learn mm. at the same time. Then at the same time, uh, getting getting really to know friends. Huh? yeah. So it was uh, although like I have friends in during my usual poly uh, class, but after that, right, uh, I actually come forward to I will look forward to CCS. Then mm. that that's where that's where I really got to dance with my friends, uh, and and really bond and do performances with them. Yeah. So and from there, right? Uh, with with this like new this interest that I have, it eventually lead me to. It actually gave me a, a lot of opportunities. Yeah, gave me a lot of opportunities in terms of like in the dance scene. Then uh, eventually leading to what I'm actually doing now. Mm. Yeah, correct, correct. So actually, uh, this club was actually my start off point, mm. which eventually leads to whatever that I'm actually doing now. Mm. Yeah, correct. So. This is one of the experience, uh. mm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how has the school like Nanyang Polytechnic supported uh, foreign bodies over the years? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say the school supported us in uh, not just the facilities, of course, but also um, being very supportive of the club when we want to go out and represent the school or go out and try new things. For example, taking part in small competitions or even supporting us when we wanted to hold our very first production. Mm. Yeah, where I wouldn't say we're the first club to start that, but when we wanted to start it, the school had no uh, hesitations. We were actually um, being given a lot of um, support from the school, not just um, facilities, but also monetarily. The school funded our production and helped us along the way uh, to make to make sure that the show was a success, even though it was the first time. We were given um, full responsibility and full freedom to do whatever we want to do uh, in on stage with full lightings and sound support. And from there, it actually helped FB to um, be known to the other polys and to show our dancers uh, what they are actually capable of. Yeah. And from there, it helped grow FB because um, new students who come to NYP actually know of FB even before they know of what they want to do in the school, yeah, what they want to study. So in the sense of how the school has helped us, right, I think that by supporting us in our decisions of how to grow the club without um, micromanaging, yeah, I think that's a very good, um, how should I say, uh, yeah, I think that's a very good thing that the school has done for us. Uh. Mm. So, uh, has foreign bodies been involved with the larger dance scene throughout Singapore? Larger dance scene? Mm. Uh, okay. I'm sure. okay, I think in the early, the earlier, earlier, days, earlier yeah. days, right, where like the dance scene wasn't mm. so... Saturated. A, ...as now. Mm. Uh, actually, in the early, earlier days, I, um, it was actually pr pretty involved. Yeah. yeah. Initially, we were the, like, uh, one of the few polytechnics that, that were actually uh, going out to compete and stuff like that. Yeah. Especially so when uh, dance showcase competitions were mm. were very much in. I think uh, yearly you will actually see uh, foreign bodies groups actually yeah. representing. Yeah. Mm. Then uh, but of course with the with the with the growing dance scene right uh, and also having more genres and more styles yeah. uh, that 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 involvement also gets uh, spread out. Yeah. Spread out across as well. Mm. Yeah, correct. Right. So it was actually still pretty involved, and right now, actually, actually I would say in in various various genres and various mm. uh, styles, there are actually still a few, Very active. yeah, mm. who are actually uh, out there representing as well. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think because it's the youths, yes. young, then and because the way the music is, 
and the way the style is right I think um, people who don't understand the, the art form initially will definitely have a prejudice to whatever they see or they already know so they will just assume yeah but um, but you know it's just a art form that uh, that the youth actually engage engage in yeah but actually you see all of us we are all yeah. very like proper and nice people mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> correct so i think it's just a, that culture where initially people don't understand and mm. or maybe they just perceive it as a certain way mm. then uh then they start to you know um, see it as a very gangster yeah. thing yeah but of course also in singapore context right we are not like overseas countries mm. but it's really to that gangster to gangster extent, yeah. to that extent yeah so i think um it is a culture that goes with the social norm as well, I mm. guess. Well, I think in Singapore context, um, we're not really seen as like gangsters, gangsters. Like 10, 10, 20, 10 years ago or so, when we started wearing like very baggy and being very influenced by hip hop culture, right? Um, we might be seen as uh, weird people who dress oversized clothes. Yeah, clothes that can fit like 10 chickens in next to your legs, that kind. But uh, it was a social identity. For the dancers because it was through that that people recognized this group of people as hip-hop dancers which was the kind of um, recognition that they wanted for themselves i believe yeah by their dress sense and by the way that they carry themselves because of the culture also yeah so like uh has foreign bodies been seen as like gangsterish or so mm, within the school no i won't I say gangsterish, gangsterish la, yeah but it's the if you say probably, like rebellious maybe yeah. or loud yeah, yeah or loud yeah, yeah. Correct, then, then probably yes. So, not so much of gangster, but if you say like, or maybe even like troublemakers, yeah. So because of how they carry themselves, because they are very loud, because um, they like to uh, do things a certain way, for, for example. So maybe people will take that as like rebellious and then uh, not uh, following social norms. So when it comes to like certain bad things, they will start to label, yeah. Or they'll be the first person that are uh, thought of when it comes to certain... Um, Things that is not appropriate. Appropriate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like in terms of fashion, has it mm. changed? Oh yes, yes. Fashion. <laughs> fashion. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Like how yeah. how do they dress nowadays? Uh, I think fashion goes one round. Like it will come back on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really. Yeah. So when we first started, we dressed like t-shirt, jeans. But after being very influenced and all the music changes in the scene, right, we started wearing very baggy clothes, like super oversized, like a shirt can be kind of dressed, that kind of size. But over the years, um, people started to wear very tight clothes. <laughs> yeah, now it's become more slick. Yeah. yeah. Now it's become more slick. Correct. Yeah, you seldom see people wearing like too oversized. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. I think largely, like we share, it's the, it's the music during that. Mm, time, it's the music the, scene. The, the, mm. the fashion during the time. Yeah. I think all this plays a part into uh, what what it is mm. what it is now. Yeah. We yeah. dress what music video dresses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually it's really usually what the media portrays. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. People are very influenced by what the media or what they see. Mm. Yeah. Back then was back then was MTV. Right now it's uh right now it's YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Last time there was no YouTube such mm. things. Yeah. yeah. But then right now it's very social media mm. influence. Or like Instagram whatever yeah. the artist likes to wear then yeah they'll tend to try and follow mm. Mm. Okay, uh, so like after all this history like do you have any concluding comments like what you hope for FB's future eh eh <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have very big hopes for FB um, what I hope for FB's future okay I think um what I actually really hope for FB is not just a recognition within the school, not just a recognition within even the police, but more of a recognition within like the whole of Singapore and even beyond. Because um, competitions now are getting regional and also getting international. So I really hope that one day FB will be um, recognised on the map yeah, somewhere uh, to not be a dance group of um, many individual good dancers, but a group of many good dancers. Yeah, that's like really the dream I have for <laughs> <laughs> Okay, actually, hers is more on the bigger scale, but I mean, mm. mine is more on the, like, what's, I would say, the, the, in terms of, like, the club. Actually, uh, every started off with, like, just um, very small and few people, and was mm. actually very family-like. Yes. So, I think 
my dreams will actually be uh, if let's say the club were to grow right still really maintaining that um, that family family bond mm. yeah last time it was very easy to maintain that but as, a, as the club really grew bigger right mm. actually that one is, the family or, or, the, or that bond thing mm. is actually the hardest to actually yeah. maintain yeah so uh, yes to, to and also to represent uh, our dance form and style well uh, of course of course things and trends will change but then we can we can always go with that mm. but at the end of the day it's really the it's really that spirit and that and that bond that, that should actually remain and makes uh, the club different from the rest yeah mm. correct so that's that's just for my part yeah. that's all the questions yeah, yeah. thank you, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.